When you're starting out in a place where opportunities are few, things are difficult enough. But lockdown has closed the paths which take you on in life and made it impossible to get the grades or earn a wage. It's like you're digging that hole and you can't get out of it. It's like quicksand. Stuck in quicksand, you can't get out, you're just going further down, getting dragged in. I only finished college last year, done three years in college, site like joinery. And now? Lockdown. Now to do. I've been struggling. And what have you been living on? Fresh air, really. An employment agency was offering shifts in a local food factory, but social distancing meant that numbers were cut. There's only certain lines what are working each day. As you have to stay that two metres apart from each other. So there's no space for you at the moment? No, that's what I mean, there's no phone call for me yet. It's just been a nightmare, man, really. Lockdown has upset plans across the estate. Amelia has overcome severe dyslexia to win an offer of a place at college where she hoped to qualify as a veterinary nurse. You don't know even if the course is going to even be on in September? No, we don't know at the moment. So, Andrew, I mean, what, what can you say? I feel for the offer all the kids, I really do. It's, it's terrible for them, because they're not going to get the grades that they wanted. And they've just been through so much, they've worked so hard. What for? Homeschooling in the Sayers household is something the whole family does. Lone parent Emma gave up her job in a fast food restaurant last year to go to university and pursue her dream of becoming an occupational therapist, a dream that in lockdown seems distant. Am I going to pass my first year at university? Am I getting into thousands of pounds worth of debt just to not be able to possibly not get into the job that I wanted to get into? And while there's new uncertainty, old financial pressures haven't gone away. The local council have done the, the school dinner vouchers where you get £15 a week, so luckily enough I'm getting £30 a week towards my, my shopping which has been a massive, massive help. All we can do is keep trying to pod on and get my um, assignments written and handed in. And hope. And hope, yeah. <laughs> lots and lots of hope. <laughs> There's no insurance for ambitions which have had to be put on hold, no furlough payments in careers which haven't yet begun or in jobs that were never there. In what will be a long and difficult summer, hope might be all there is. Geraint Vincent, News at 10.